Let me show you the bike. One of the great things about it is it's made from a single bike, not two bicycles, and there's no welding or machine shop needed to build this bike. I started with the bicycle that I bought at a yard sale for $10. You'll notice that the bicycle is still built into the middle of the frame, almost exactly the way it came, except the rear wheel has been extended. There are casters on the rear of sorts made from like wheelbar wheels. You can put two people in the bicycle, the wide seat. Notice it's slanting forward to help keep your weight on the pedals. The middle crank is the same as was on the original bicycle. And two additional cranks, one on each side, have been added. Pins and bolts were used, so the welding was not necessary. The front of the frame is the most important part. I would probably have even used a larger pipe maybe one and a quarter to build the front if I was to do it again because of the pressure from the pedals. The back frame is a lot more sturdier than I needed it to be. I put in a lot of diagonals thinking that they would be necessary to build the sturdy frame, but it turns out one inch PVC is extremely strong if you just make it into a box. Notice there's a slight handrail on each side. That's important. Many passengers like to hold on to something. In fact, in addition to the steering rod, which you see here, there's also a hand rest that allows you to hold on to that. while you're riding the bike. In the back, we have a cargo shelf. It's made of the wire cell shelving used in closets. Top canopy is made from a cushion from a lounge chair. Bought a couple of these cheap at the end of the summer. I used the cloth itself for the upholstery and the padding on the inside for the padding in the seat. If you want more information on building a bike like this of your own, I wrote down a detailed account of all my successes and failures, what I went through building the bike, and published it in a full color booklet that's available on Amazon.com. You can find it by just going to Amazon.com and searching on Bicycle Blankenship and it should come up for you.
you're thinking of building a project like this, I give you lots of hints and ideas and details of all the things that seem to go wrong when I was building mine, and hopefully it'll help you build one of your own.